Welcome back, y'all. This is Bronwyn with Big Sky Diamond Painting. I am here with one more unboxing from my diamond painting break. Because even though I took a break from diamond painting, they still released paintings that I wanted. So, let's get started. I'm just going to open up this box by getting the plastic off. Uh, what I did, what I did through my break was just not bother to take the plastic off the paintings. I did take most of them out of the shipping boxes so they would take out less, they'd take up less space. But I was out of it enough that I didn't feel the need to unbox and look at them. So that means you guys get to share the joy of doing that with me because I also did not feel like filming things while I was uh, on my pandemic break. I'll, I've already talked a lot about that during my whip and chat, but I definitely... had some depression going on and I would say still do we're not going to pretend like this isn't rough for everybody but I'm getting through it just like we all are so this is one I'm really excited about where the fun never ends by Mandy Manzano it is a round with Aurora Borealis the only thing that would make this better is if it was square and it is 51 by 137 centimeters, so it's gigantic. It's one of those long ones. And it is Adventure Time themed, and I am really excited about it. Again, shorthand, it's round. You can tell because the logo is round on the box. They have started doing that with all their newer boxes. I don't have an exact start date for that, but it was sometime this year. Stuff I bought from earlier in the year doesn't have that change, and then stuff I bought from later in the year does. So there is our drills and diamond and um sorry and canvas. There is our kit. I think I think that's everything in the box. So alrighty. First things first. We have our inventory sticker and kit sticker. So you can use that on your kit. You can put it in your, your tracking journal, whatever you're going to do. It's really pretty. I just love looking at it. These I used to kit up. There are 55 colors in this, which is no surprise, given that it's basically rainbow fun funness. And... I'm pretty, pretty stoked for it. So the kit, let us just take a quick look at the kit. I'm going to take this one out since it's been a little bit since I did. All right, so we have a pen. We have a squishy. That's, if you still use these pens, which honestly I don't, but if you do, that makes it a little bit more comfortable. We have... So I think there must have been a period of time where they just weren't putting multi-placers in here because this is the third one that I've unboxed without a multi-placer. Anyway, we've got a clear tray. We've got two heart-shaped plates of wax and some baggies. The kit still says on here that it should be including a multi-placer, but there isn't one. Again, not a big deal for me. Though I imagine if this was your first diamond painting kit and all you had was this tool kit, um, it would kind of stink to have such a large kit and not have a multi-placer. So near as I can tell, they're definitely including multi-placers again from what I've seen on the newer unboxings that I've started watching again. 
so I don't know that you need to worry, but that that's just something to keep in mind. And honestly, guys, like if you are watching this video and you're like new and you need a multiplacer, just like hit me up. Like I can seriously just mail you one in the mail. Like it would cost me less than a buck and I have so many. Anyway, let's start unrolling this bad boy because this, this is a absolute unit of a diamond painting. So we're gonna, we're gonna just slowly, slowly unroll it here. All right, we got our drills up at the top. I'm gonna just leave those there to hold it, hold it flat a little bit. Comes with your step-by-step -step instructions as usual. And there's a, there's a code in there for your next purchase. Gives you some tips, some, some tips and tricks. Gives you your, your nine steps to diamond painting everything you need if you are a little bit new to diamond painting. So this, let's, let's talk a little bit about this image first things first. When I saw this image on Mandy Manzano's website, I knew immediately that I wanted this as a diamond painting. And I thought there was no way in heck it was going to be made into a diamond painting, to be honest with you. I really thought, no way, this is too close to, like, licensed material. This, you know, they're just never going to make it into a diamond painting. So I admit that I would have been tempted had I seen it somewhere as a stolen image to buy it, but... Let's face it, it wouldn't have been up to what I wanted anyway. So even though I would have been tempted between it being wrong and it not being the quality that I want out of a Mandy Manzano, it, it wouldn't happen. So I had kind of resigned myself to just loving this image from afar and never getting the beautiful sparkly diamond painting version of it that I always wanted. And then this summer, they released it as a diamond painting. And I, to put things mildly, lost my shit. Now keep in mind, this was while I was in the middle of a diamond painting drought where I really was not sure that I was going to go back to diamond painting at all. I really was just feeling kind of like, I don't know if I'm ever going to diamond paint again. I just don't feel like it. You know, it just, I wasn't, I didn't have the, the drive or the desire or anything like that. And like things so often do when you have depression, if you are familiar with being depressed, it feels very hopeless and like it is. You, like, you're never going to get that feeling back. Like, you're never going to feel like doing it again. So I definitely kind of took a leap of faith by buying this painting. But at this point, my reasoning is, especially with Diamond Art Clubs, is that I can always sell them to someone later if I don't end up wanting them even if I have to sell them for less or I can pass them on to someone, you know, who's, you know, doesn't, didn't have the money or something and that I would rather, you know, buy it and have it than, and, and have it if I want it, then take the risk of, of not 
having it if I do want to do it. So anyway, I went ahead and bought it. And I'm glad I did because this is probably after I get done with Winter with DAC. And then I think I need to finish Sneaky Cat. After I finish that, I think this is going to be my, my next new project. I might, I'll prob, you know, I'll probably get to do, going to do a snack painting or two in between just to have like some satisfaction of finishing something small. But once I have all my, my finished stuff done, I want to make this my next big project. So anyhow, since there's no way I'm going to fit this in one shot, we are going to just take a quick or a very slow pan up this beautiful painting. We have Princess Bubblegum. We have Lady Rainicorn. We have the Ice King. We have lots of Candy Forest and Castle in here. I think, let me look at the picture. I can't tell if that's supposed to be a little bit of a lemon grab over here or if that's just swirliness. I'm going to have to go look at her, her initial image because I imagine this is just a tiny bit cropped. But I'll have to look at it. Well, it looks like it's probably just sky. I'll go, I'll go look at the original image later anyway. Um, and I'll also put in like the full image of what it's going to look like here. Anyway, we have this gorgeous rainbow, which I think is going to just look amazing. I saw a picture of this finish last night and it just, it slaps, you guys. <laughs> it totally slaps. We have the, the snowy mountains back here and just in that fun, like art style of Mandy Manzanos and Adventure Time. We have Finn. We've got Jake down here with his, his long wiggly arms. We've got Lumpy Space Princess. And then we've got a tiny little Marceline down here at the bottom. And these beautiful little green hills and a little tiny Bemo right there and I think that's is that a snail yeah that's a snail so I think that's the the slug that actually was just carrying something on its back and thought it was a snail the whole time anyway um yeah this is this is gonna be epic and take a long time but I love it and it's gonna be worth it so I am looking forward to doing this one. Um, let me, in fact, I'll start, I'll do it down here. We're going to just do a quick test of the stickiness, which you should know by now, but it's, it's never a problem with, with Diamond Art Club. They're sticky. And... You can see that the, the symbols are very, very clear, which is going to be good because there's a lot of colors in this. There's a good chunk of, there's a good amount of color blocking versus confetti in this. I mean, you can see there's quite a little bit of confetti right there, whereas there's like huge amounts of color blocking over here. I've said it before, but it's, it's the case that Diamond Art Club does a really good job with spreading out things so that you know you have a good mix of color blocking and confetti and you know not making anything too monotonous all at once so let's look at our ab's we have a pink one and a green one numbers one and two of course lots of the pink one here in lumpy spaints princess and Let's see here, the green one, some, some down here on the hills with, with Marceline. Um, some here in the green of the rainbow. Well, yeah, that's part of a rainbow. We're gonna 
just slowly scroll up on the painting. There's, there's more green in here, more of the green AB on the backpack. More of the green AB and the green stripe on the rainbow. It looks like it's going to keep repeating in the green stripe of the rainbow all the way through. Imagine, let's see, let's see if there's any, yep, we've got some, some pink ABs in Lady Rainicorn up here. We have, let's see, we've got some green ABs up here around in the background of the Ice King, and we've got some pink ABs in Princess Bubblegum and then more green up here in the background. So all in all, and then more pink in here in this like, like sparkly bit. So I think all in all, this is gonna be a pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice painting. So I'm gonna just let this sit for a second, get a final shot and I will come back with some drills. All right, let's get down to some drills. Um, comes with two bags of drills because again, it's huge. We will start with what I'll call the boring bag because it's got all the black in it. So this is a Mandy Manzana, so of course it's gonna have a ton of black because she does a lot of black line work. So it's to be expected. So on this string, we have, so 38, 65, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags of 310. This Diamond Art Club, I'm not super worried about the quality of the 310, but it's, it can still be hard on the eyes to work with 310 and things like that. So we go through some more of these beautiful colors. Again, 55 colors total. So there's bound to be some gorgeous ones in here. Plus it's rainbow colored, so it's just going to be nice and bright and beautiful. Got lots of hitchhikers in there. I guess this kit was assembled before coronavirus. <laughs> Oh, I love this blue. And that one. There is our first Aurora Borealis, which again are those uh, drills with the special iridescent coating. You can see that's the pink. I don't know how well that shows up in the camera, but it's going to be really pretty on the painting. I really like that color. Okay, now to our second bag. We have one more bag of 310. So add that to the count. And we have some greens and some oranges. And some light, like sea foam green. It's kind of a pretty yellow. That one's not bad either. Oh, I like, really like this color too. And then we've got more orange and some more green. And there is our other Aurora Borealis. That is 134 which is a nice pretty green color. There's a lot of this one. I think that one's going to be the most prominent one. Um, that's in lots of the green spots, but I really, I like that one. I mean, there's not really many AB colors I dislike. Even the brown Aurora Borealis colors look really nice because they, they kind of get like a blue flash to them when they're brown, and I just really, I really like how that looks. Okay, 
So here is our, our accent colors. These are all, and again, since this is Diamond Art Club, the drills are all just really nice. If you ever run into problems with Diamond Art Club drills, make sure you contact them because it's definitely not the norm for them. They typically have really, really good quality drills, especially lately. They try really hard because you are paying a premium. So anyway, that's all the drills. And I think that, that they're going to be gorgeous. So I will catch back up with you with the canvas out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I'm going to leave you here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I would love to know if you finished this one. I've seen one finished picture so far, and it looks great because, as usual, the colors just pop more and get more vibrant when it's finished. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I would absolutely love it. Hit the bell if you want notifications. And I will see you guys next time for my next video. And I hope you do well until then. Bye-bye.